Hi, it's Tarrant. And Stella from Ebor University. Today we'll be teaching you how to play Evacuate, and so hopefully after this video you'll be ready to play the game. Coming up. Let's learn to play Evacuate, a game designed by Tony Mastrangeli and Jeff Peterson and published by Peterson Games. Let's get to the table. Evacuate is a game of survival. Nomia have broken into the space station and now it's every civilization for itself as they run and try to escape the impending horde, dodging obstacles and each other to try to be the last one to survive. Nomia may attack the slowest, the fastest, or others in the group and whichever civilization has the most survivors when the escape ship arrives is the winner. To set up the basic four to six player game, each player will take five survivor minis and a token in their color and one run deck. There are 11 different run decks in the game, each showing a different civilization, but in the basic game, it does not matter which one you pick. Simply find the 10 cards with the same back Flip them over and find the two which show your civilization at the top and remove them. This will leave an eight card symmetrical deck for each player. Find the card labeled start card and then place one of each player's five minis onto the first row of this card. In a higher player count game, some of the minis will overhang the edge, but they're all considered to be in the same space. Each figure on the board represents your entire surviving civilization. So at the start of the game, this one figure represents all five of these. Through the game, as some of your survivors are killed by Nomias, they'll be taken from your off-board supply, reducing the amount that this figure represents. Shuffle up the station deck and then place one random card face up next to the start card and another face down. Place the direction standee in the direction of travel. Find all of the Nomia cards, then sort them into 14 piles of like cards, which will range in size from one card to five. Set aside the evacuation transport docked card and remove the Glazoktok rescue ship from the game. This is used only in the advanced game. Then assemble the starting Nomia deck by taking the no hostile entities detected card one medical station card, one Nomia approaching from front card, and two Nomia approaching from rear cards. Don't get these confused with the Nomia horde approaching from front and rear cards. Then shuffle this five card deck and place it face down near play. This will dictate the manner in which the Nomia will attack and pick off survivors. Finally, choose a first player and you're ready to play. Evacuate is played in rounds, and each round is played in four phases. Survivors run, survivor actions, Nomia's attack, and cleanup. In Survivors run, each player simultaneously chooses one card currently in their hand, and then places it face down. Cards come in two types, basic run cards, which show only a movement value, and action cards, which show this icon, a movement value, and an action printed in text. All players then reveal their chosen cards and advance their mini a number of steps forward along the track based on that card's move value. If the player played an action card, ignore the text action for now. Simply resolve the amount of movement. There is no limit to the number of players who can be positioned in a single location, and so usually it's not going to matter what order you do this in. However, in cases where it does matter, such as the narrow maintenance access room where only two players may fit abreast and will block others from passing, you'll resolve your movements in turn order, starting from the current first player. Some rooms in the game will have obstacles or other restrictions to movement, which you'll need to keep in mind as you resolve this step. When a player first enters a face down card, then reveal the card and continue moving taking into account any new restrictions that that card brings. The player who does this then draws two new station cards, looks at them, 
chooses one to place face down in the path and discards the other face down. In this way, running ahead gives you some choice for what obstacles will come next. When the last player leaves a card, move it to the discard pile, with the exception of the start card, which is removed from the game. The second phase is survivor actions, and starting with the first player and going clockwise around the table, any players who played an action card in this round will resolve the text action on the card. Some of these are active effects. Here, for example, the player can trip an opponent, sending their survivor one step backwards. Others are passive, and the hide effect, for example, prevents that player from being attacked by Nomia this round. The third phase is Nomia's attack, and here you will draw one card from the Nomia deck and then resolve it. On some occasions, perhaps due to an action card or the effect of a room on the board, more than one Nomia card may be drawn and resolved. A red coloured card means that the Nomia have attacked in this round, and whichever player is targeted by the Nomia's text will lose one survivor. Here for example, Nomia are approaching from the rear, and the player or players who are furthest back in the current direction of travel lose one survivor. The direction token is usually unnecessary, except in the case of dead ends, where survivors may be running in different directions. Here, even though the purple survivor has run the furthest, it is considered to be in the rear for a Nomia attack. The token flips only once all players have changed direction. Players who are attacked by Nomias take a survivor figure from their offboard supplies and place them into the highest open number relevant to their player count. This keeps track of the progress of the game and plays some part in triggering the endgame. If a player is attacked but has run out of survivors in their pool, then they lose the survivor from the main board and are eliminated from the game. Blue cards have neutral or positive effects for the players and no Nomias will attack. After all Nomia cards have been drawn and resolved for the round, each player who lost at least one survivor must add a new card into the Nomia deck from all of those available. New cards are added to the Nomia discard pile. Players may choose more blue ones to help the humans out, or may try to stack Nomia cards in a way that benefits their strategy, such as by adding more cards which will attack from the rear if you've got a strategy which has you out the front of the pack. There are many more attack cards than there are positive cards, and so as the game goes on, you will have more and more Nomia in the deck. Last is the cleanup phase, and the player discards the card that was played in this round into a personal discard pile, and will play only from the remaining cards in hand in the subsequent round. Once a player has only two cards left in hand, then the discard pile is picked up and returned to hand. Finally, hand the first player token to the next player clockwise. The Nomia deck is reset based on the number of blue cards in its discard pile. Any time you either play or add a blue card to the discard pile of the Nomia deck, then it's good to turn them sideways. And as soon as you've reached two blue cards in the discard pile, gather up the entire discard pile and shuffle it back into the Nomia deck. The end phase of the game begins immediately as soon as a survivor is killed and placed into the evac ready space. Add the Evacuation Transport Docked card, which was set aside at the start of the game, into the Nomia discard pile, and then shuffle back into the Nomia deck, irrespective of the number of blue cards in the deck. From this point forward, the Nomia discard pile will never be shuffled again. The game ends immediately as soon as this Evacuation Transport Docked card is drawn. Whoever has the most remaining survivors at this time wins the game. If tied, whoever is furthest ahead in the direction of travel breaks the tie, and if still tied, victory is shared. If all survivors are killed before this happens, then the Nomias win. In the advanced variant of the game, each player will take on the role of an asymmetrical civilization trying to escape the Nomia. At the start of the game, you will take the three extra cards associated with your civilization the two extra run deck cards, and the one which describes your faction. 
Some of these are run cards, and they're often action type run cards. And you must play this card in the survivor's run phase, as you normally would with any of the symmetrical run cards. Others are special cards. These are held in your hand, and they are played from your hand at the appropriate time. And this can be any time during a turn, potentially. This will not count as your run card for the round. Often these are a special once-off action, and the card is removed from the game once you've used it. The special card does not count towards the number of cards in your hand. And so this would count as having two cards in hand, and would trigger redrawing your discard pile back to hand. The last card shows your civilization's ongoing power, which could include a change to your win condition in the game. This can lead to a wide degree of asymmetry and differing strategies among the players. If civilization powers ever conflict with each other, they should be resolved in turn order. This card also shows how many survivor minis you begin the game with, as this differs between civilizations. If you are playing with two or three players, then you will need to use non-player colours of survivors in order to bring the total number of survivor bands up to four. Each non-player civilization is controlled using one of the neutral run decks. These are used in both the basic and advanced games, so the non-player characters will never use the asymmetrical civilizations. Non-player civs always begin with five survivors, as in the basic game. During the survivor's run phase, each non-player Civ will draw the top card from its run deck and move the corresponding number of spaces. These run from movement 0 to 5, rather than 1 to 4 as in the player civilization decks, and contain no action cards. Whenever a non-player's survivor is killed, it goes onto this track as usual, and it is the current first player who chooses which card to add to the Nomia deck. A neutral run deck is not reshuffled until the entire draw deck is empty. And that's how to play Evacuate. We hope that you enjoyed the video. Do check out Evacuate. We've put a link to its project page below so that you can check it out. If you find this video useful, please help us by hitting that like button. Subscribe to us. You can also hit the meeple in the corner to do so and hit the bell icon so you'll be notified when we release new and exciting videos. You can also follow me on Instagram for my board games journey. And if you have any questions, comments or feedback, please leave them in the comments section below. Until next time.